What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a good day today, man. Thanks for joining me, dude. Um, so today is uh, a lot of requests for this. This is going to be the center post build. A lot of people want to, you know, how to on this. This is the way that I do it. I prefer that. You can probably hear the dog. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get him. Already, we're like not even 30 seconds into the video. I gotta go get the dog. One second, sir. Thanks for dealing with that all the time, you guys. All right, cool. Well, let's talk about what the center build is. Um, the center post build um, is essentially two micro coils, okay? Um, I, you know, I recommend 28 or 26 gauge Canthal. Both work great. Um, um, the, what we're building today will be I think a 6.5 wrap, I believe, 26 gauge Canthal. We're going to be doing it. Um, we're going to have the coil sitting right dead center here. They're going to be a coil here and a coil here, um, hugging that center post, hence the name, you know, uh, center post build. Um, this is going to be on the IgoW, man. Yeah? IgoW makes for, uh, in my opinion, um, is a good one to build it on. Because um, if you notice on the posts here, you notice how they're square at the top. Okay, um, that's a good thing. On the, it's squared off on the top of the post itself. Because to build a center post build, you need to utilize the heads of the screws. Kind of like you'd build the Omega, right? Um, you're using the posts, not the eyelets. Okay, um, that lifts up your coil, puts it dead center. Um, you don't have to look, just drip right down in and vape. Uh, it's super easy and it, it gives off great flavor because it brings the coils closer to uh, the mouthpiece. Um, and it's just a great all-around build, man. Uh, and, I, and I hope you guys um, bear with me on this because this can be fiddly. Um, like I said, I've played with ways to make it better. Um, the best results comes from just going for it, you know, really bucking down, just dealing with the fiddliness and get it done, man. Um, I've loosened up all the screws here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, just enough to where you can fit your canthal underneath the outside ones. And then the center one, lift it up just enough to fit um, two stacked on top of each other. Okay? Two wires. Okay? So a little more than the other two as you can see here. Okay? Um, so let's take it down low. And uh, let's have a vape first then. You always have something to vape when you're building. K Fun Light Plus. Absolutely. A performer, man. So let's take it down low, man. Let's get this started, okay? Alright, I think we're, uh, yeah, we're good here. So, I've got a big old long piece here, 26 gauge, okay? I'll be building around the tool that you guys know and love here. Um, just like you'd build any other coil, guys. And yeah, we'll go uh, one, two, three, four. Sorry that wasn't in the shot, guys. Um, and I want you to notice the angle. See how I'm kind of crossing over it? Five, six, okay. I'm gonna pull that kind of tight there. And you know, if you kind of cross over, we'll do another one here in a second, and I'll get that better in the shot, because I have a feeling that didn't even get in. Um, we're gonna clip it off and put some pretty decent leads on there, okay? Pretty long leads here. And uh, there you go, man. There's one. And for not torching it or anything, you know, it's pretty tight, <laughs> pretty uniform. Let's do another one. This time I'll try and keep it in the shot, okay? Okay, I'm kind of crossing over the wire. One, two, four, five, six. And I'm really putting some tension. Um, I'm really putting some tension on that, on that wire. 
as I'm going around, you know. I hope that leads long enough. Uh, should be. But yeah, pretty good leads here, guys. Let's pop this off. Um, now, I like to torch mine, okay? Not for very long, but I do like to torch mine. So grab your pair of uh, needle nose here. And I want you to note um, where exactly I'm pinching that. See how I'm doing that? Hopefully that shows up. Just on the tippy top edge there. Um, See that? That's kind of, that's where I like to pinch my micros, okay? Right on the front of it. Um, Trying to give you every angle here. And I'm just pinching it. And we're going to go ahead and just uh, get this lit up. And I'm going to heat it till it's red hot. And then I'm going to hold it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, and I'm gonna hold that pinch there until it's cool. Okay? Until I feel like the coil's cool enough to handle, you know. I mean, it's probably cool by now in the lead, especially, but that's just what I do to try and keep it nice and uniform. Because with a center post build, you really want to. Uh, do everything you can and set up a good 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 uh foundation for this build, okay? There's one. Let's go ahead and set that off the side and we'll do another one. And once again, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pinch it on the front. Just like that. Okay, let's do it again. This tells hot. Those so were glowing red. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. That should be great. I'm just gonna hit these leaves a little bit more. Set that off to the side. And once again, I'm just gonna hold it. And I'm really looking at these coils and make sure that they're tight. They're, they're touching each other. It's very important with uh, micro coils, okay? Um, when they're tight and they're all touching together and they're really uniform, um, a good working qual good working micro coil glows from the inside to the out. Okay. Hold that just a little bit longer. Now you guys don't have to do this. This is just what I do, and like I said, this is just how I do it. And those are done. We have them done. Set this off to the side here. Excellent. Okay. Cool. So now we have our base. Now, I want you for to start the um, the build. Okay, you're gonna have one sitting. Like I said, we're utilizing the the screws, right? The see how you have um, a top and a bottom here. See, so you have that bottom lead and you have that top lead. That top lead wraps around the, like that. I'm gonna try and get this in the shot, guys. Like this. Okay? What's gonna happen is that lead's gonna stay there, this bottom one's gonna come up and go around the outside terminal, okay? And that's the first thing we're gonna do with this one. Now, very important, keep, make sure that you're gonna be able to have, give yourself just a little space. Um, with this coil from that from that top screw there. You don't want that touching, you want it just a little bit. I mean, I like to get mine as close as possible, okay? Um, but just make sure it is not touching, okay? So let's go ahead and mount this and then I can give you a better look at it. Like I said, this can be fiddly. Just get it close, but you want a little gap in there. And just wrap around, be confident, you know? Be, be confident when you're building. And just kind of center that, just kind of snug that down for now. So hopefully this will really show here. Okay. Um, you can see it's not centered at all, but it's in the general area. And you'll see in a minute, we're going to go ahead and fix that. 
before we even fire this thing, we're going to make sure we're good right where we want it. But as you can see, hopefully, um, yeah, it's sitting over that top lead is wrapped around the nut, and then the bottom lead is coming up, wrapping around that one. Okay? And then you just repeat on the other side. Now, there's a little trick to this too, okay? Um, that's the way I like to do it. Do you see that lead right here? I want you to take these two right here, go underneath, so you're up underneath, and then bring it up to your post, just like you did the other one. And you're gonna repeat, okay? I know, it might be kind of confusing right now, um, but when you are doing this at home, you'll see, you'll know exactly what I mean. Remember, give yourself a little space. Okay, make sure you're nice and snug, but you got space. Excellent, excellent. And I'm gonna snug that up, that negative lead here. Now we got kind of this thing going on. See here you can really adjust this, you know. Um, I'm just going to kind of bring this over just a hair here. Good. Good, good, good. Cool. So that's what you should pretty much be ended up with is just like the Omega. Okay, they're in the general area, and of course they're crooked, they're kind of all over the place, but they're in the general area, right? And so you have this going on. Now, just like my Omega video, you're going to take this lead here, you're going to go around once, just 180 degree, grab the other lead, and repeat, and, and they should interlock underneath that screw, okay? So let's go for it. Remember, keep the space, right? So I'm just going to be nice and nice and gentle here. Go around. Good. Now I am going to go... Booger. If you have to loosen up that screw a little more, do it. Make sure you have enough room in there to get it around. Excellent. It should pretty much hold itself there. Um, okay, I know it looks like a huge mess right now. But all I did was take that lead, I went around once, grabbed the other one, went around once. Okay, they're interlocked in there now. If you were to lift up, if you were to take out all three of these bolts, you could take the coil and lift it up and they'd be interlocked. Okay, so let's snug this down slowly. And when I mean slow, like, I don't want to see that canthal doing anything I don't want it to do. I don't want it slipping. I don't want it grooving and jiving. Um, but I do want it to stay tight in there. Like I said, the Ego W is really cool. Um, Addy for this. Okay, so now check this out. We can go ahead and clip off these negative leads. Just to kind of give you some finger room here, man. Um, and then we can go ahead and start shaping our coils. I call it shaping the coils, but, but I want you to leave these two in, okay? These two right here. When you touch them, they shouldn't feel like they're going to pop out. Um, they should feel stiff in there. They should feel like there's pressure on them, okay? So I'm going to take this tool, the same thing you wound it on, whatever you wound it on. Stick it in. And we're just going to bend it up a little bit. Okay? Um, we're going to get them... We're going to get them dead center here. Okay? And, you can, and as I'm doing this, you'll, uh, you'll start to see... Um, you'll start to see it kind of come to life here. And guess what? Let me go ahead and adjust this real quick, guys. And 
that was the problem. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, now, like I said, guys, um, I'm just forming them. I'm putting them where I want these. I'm, I'm being gentle, yet aggressive, okay? Um, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, it's, it's really hard to show on camera. I wish I had a better camera. Um, but as you can see, um, I just kind of come in here. And I'm making sure that they're flat. Um, make sure that they're flat and they're staying round. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip it, and then I'll show you guys what I've come up with here. And I hope this all got in the camera and uh, and all that. I don't want to take any like little extra lead here, and. Uh, I tuck it in, and it should end up with something like this. Hopefully that comes into play, I'll pull back a little bit. So, um, right in the center there. Everything's pretty even, see that? One's a little lower than the other, I could probably fix, no, no. Cool, so there we go, let's measure this out. Okay. 0.3 ohms. Good solid read there. That's how you know that um, you're not touching the um, the post with your coils or anything, okay? And so now, let me go ahead and, and have a toot here. And then we'll fire it up, we'll set the coils. Pop this off. And we'll pop this bad boy on. Um, so what we're looking for here is even glowing. Um, if that doesn't happen, um, we're going to fire, and then we're going to pinch, fire, pinch, fire, pinch with this or some tweezers or whatever you feel comfortable with. So, so I'm pulsing it, as you can see me pushing the button, hopefully. There we go. Um, not bad. Not bad, guys. It's going from the inside out, and uh, we can go ahead and wick this. Let me bring you back up top, man. So there you go. That's... I really hope um, that that got into play. And of course I don't have any cotton. One second. So, do you guys, you guys probably want to see this down low, actually, right? Okay. Let's, let's go down low one more time, guys. I'm sorry. Unprepared up now. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a good look. Um, lock your switch and whatever you're using there. Um, make sure that you're not going to fire or anything. Um, so, let's go ahead. Got your cotton ball here. Got a decent amount. And start to twist it up. Um, you want you want enough to go um, into the coil and fill it up. Okay, I want you to picture that you're filling up the coil. Okay, and hopefully I can show you what I mean by that. Um, now I don't just like pull it through. Remember, we took a long time on these coils. Um, take your time here. See how I'm holding it on one side with my left hand, or your, it's to your right, this hand right here. I'm just holding it still and I'm twisting. And it's pulling it right on in, okay? That's good. That's good, that's all we need. Let's clip that off here. And we'll do the same to the other side a tight little, you know, it looked like a lot, but after you wind it down, it gets smaller. Just make sure that you got enough that's going to fill that coil, okay? 
Make a nice point on the end. You don't want too many hairs or else it won't go through. This might be a little much, we'll see. Yeah, that's gonna be a little much. There we go. Let's try that again, guys. Try and thread that through. Nope, it's too much. So we'll start from the other side. No big deal, we're no, we're no big hurry. There's no hurry here. So we're hanging out having a vape, huh guys? Building some coils together, man. I love doing these videos. Okay, so I got through. Once again, I'm gonna hold it with my left. And I'm just gonna twist, okay? And it, it just magically, you know, it just pulls itself in. And I want you to keep in mind, you'll feel it. Um, It'll fill the coil. Uh. So I'm gonna clip it about the same on each side here. This, these ones I'm actually gonna leave a little, oh, I'm gonna clip that off. Just clip the little pointy ends off, like that. Um, and that's how it should look right there. Okay, and so I'm gonna take these and make almost a, uh, the, the con's gonna go Get tucked up under like that. I'm gonna do the same to this side. Grab it and tuck it under like that. And I'm just gonna use this and tuck this under. Um, so it looks something like that. Okay, like a little. It creates a little pocket there. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to this side, and I'll and I'll show you this side too. Okay, there's a side now. Is that pocket? I'm gonna fill that pocket up. Okay. Do a little fluff in here. A fluffing technique. Um, just, you know, grab a bunch. Grab a bunch there and just fill that hole up. You want a lot of cotton in here. This coil, in my opinion, definitely pumps out the, uh, you'll be running through some good juice there. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this side. Just like that. Make sure all the little hairs are on the inside. It should look something like this when you're done. You know, it almost looks like a package, a wrapped gift or something, you know, but everything's centered. Everything's in the center, hugging the center post. Um, right here, right there, and you have your, your kind of, it would go like this, it'd go like this, and like this, and then you stuff that pocket, okay, with cotton. Um, I'm gonna grab some juice. Alright, let's go ahead and juice this up, got some, uh, native vapors here, this is from my local vape shop, and let's juice this up, guys. 0.3 ohms, center post build right here, and I, you know, go for this, guys. Just remember when you're building this, I wouldn't go up. You don't need to watch me juice up a coil. No, you don't. <laughs> um, when you're building this coil, man, just remember, you know, be confident, you know? It, it's going to feel fiddly. Um, especially if you haven't done one before, it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel awkward, because um, you're not using the eyelets, you're using the bottom of the screws. So, when you're gonna make your move, make your move. You know, when you're gonna when you're gonna lock down that negative lead, lock it down. Go for it. You know, there's definitely no hurry on this. But once you get, once you do it once. You're dialed in. I was just trying to figure out a quicker way than, than that to do this. Um, an easier way. Uh, and I'm still going to keep working on that because I'm pretty sure there is, you know. Um, an easier way to get those centered. Uh, whether it be use something to hold the coils or whatnot, you know. Go ahead and finish juicing this up, and then we'll fire it and uh, make sure that we're all on the right page here. There it is, all juiced up, man. Um, 
let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and fire this. You know, it's flooded right now. Not too much vapor coming off of that, but. Pop it on, man. Pop on top cap. There it is, man. I go W with the center post. Let's have some babes on it and see how it works, huh? Mm. As you can see, performing excellent, man. Um, this is only going to get better with time. Um, you know what I mean? It, it'll just get better with time. Mm. Uh, glass 1161, I got your message, man. I've tried to respond, it won't let me. I have like a YouTube curse or something, dude. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm researching that, man. So, definitely, definitely researching on that for you. <laughs> Delicious. So there you go, guys. I hope that helps. Let's go over a couple things before we end this. Um, you, you know, like I said, utilize those posts. Um, you want, you'll have a top lead and a bottom lead. You want that top lead to be hugging that center post, that center nut. Okay, that's what's going to center your coils. Um, looks can be deceiving, especially when you see a wick. You could think that it would have a long um, lead. You know. And you just stretch it over there. No, not at all. You just build your coil. It doesn't matter if you ride it this way or if you go from the back. I'm riding it from the back. It doesn't matter as long as you put that top lead against the post. All right. Um, when you fasten everything down, your coils are going to be kind of junky looking. Take whatever you wind it on, stick it in there, and then just put it where you want it. Get it centered and make sure, above all, that it doesn't touch your center post, and you'll have. No problems at all. Um, they should glow beautifully and evenly from the inside out. All right. Um, so let's end this, man. In uh, in classic form, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions whatsoever, comment down below. That's what I'm here for. Till next time, man. <laughs> See you guys. Have fun with that build, man. See you guys.